Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. We're looking at Norwegian film Cadaver, available on Netflix. A post-apocalyptic film that, initially at least, seems like an original take on that tired genre. Leonora and Jakob live with their daughter Alice in the starving squalor of the city, when a man arrives inviting them and their neighbours to a show. Leonora was an actress before the nuclear winter and loves the idea of introducing Alice to theatre. Plus, the show comes with a meal, so up they go to the hotel. Inside, it's like the apocalypse didn't happen. The show occurs all over the hotel. You follow the actors who interest you. But pretty soon, things go wrong. A couple of things I liked about this. Humans have entertained each other since caveman times, and I think post-apocalyptic theatre is well worth exploring. Secondly, this is kind of an old dark house movie. Someone has said, what's the post-apocalyptic equivalent of a will reading? And the actors are like ghosts, moving past the guests as if they do not exist. Finally, and this is where it will divide people, I bought into a premise that makes no sense, none. This is not a complete world that you can believe in, but I was okay with that, the same way I am in something like The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, to which you could compare this in a few ways. But, unlike Caligari, outside of a few moments, this doesn't lean into the artificiality. I think it was a real mistake to specify a nuclear holocaust because it grounds the situation too much. I'll try to articulate that better. If the film didn't try to explain the situation, I would be able to buy into the fantasy. But because it tries to make the situation realistic, the huge holes in the premise stand out. And this becomes more of a problem in the second half, as the fantastical situation becomes quite conventional, and it jettisons much of what made that initial premise interesting. It's a good-looking film, whether sumptuous or squalid. The acting is really good, even though the characters are pretty stock. But my takeaway was that this was initially bold and then just seemed to get scared and back off from its own ambition. It starts off a genuinely different take on the post-apocalyptic genre and ends up like every other one. That said, I am glad I watched it. It did make me think, if only in the first half, and I would say it's worth a look. Thanks for watching. What films have made you look at a familiar genre in a different way? Let us know in the comments below and tell us what you thought of Cadaver.